Rebecca, seriously, Jeff, you're not giving me many options here. But fine, for tonight, call me Rebecca, Alex responded with a hint of sarcasm. Great, Rebecca it is then, I chuckled, adjusting my tie nervously. Honestly though, you do look amazing. I wasn't sure what to expect when you said you were going to wear a pink prom dress, but you're really pulling it off. Alex rolled his eyes, but there was a faint smile on his lips. Yeah, yeah, save the flattery. Let's just get through this dance so we can go back to our normal lives. We both walked into the crowded gymnasium, the music already thumping loudly, making it hard to have a conversation. As we made our way to the dance floor, I couldn't help but notice the surprised looks from our classmates. I had a feeling this would be the talk of the school for weeks to come. As we started swaying to the music, I leaned in closer to Alex. You know, I never thought I'd be at a summer dance with a guy in a pink prom dress, but I have to admit, you're making it an unforgettable night. Alex rolled his eyes again, but his smile grew a bit wider. Yeah, well, don't get used to it. This is a one-time thing. I laughed. Oh come on, Alex. Live a little. Who knows, maybe by the end of the night, you'll have a newfound appreciation for the prom experience. He glanced at me, his expression softening. You're really strange, you know that, Jeff. I shrugged, grinning. Guilty as charged. But hey, strange is interesting, right? Alex chuckled, and for a moment, the awkwardness seemed to fade away. As the night went on, we danced, joked, and even managed to have a few genuine conversations amidst the loud music and flashing lights. It was surprising how quickly we went from uneasy partners to something resembling friends. As the final slow song of the night played, Alex turned to me. Thanks, Jeff, for not making this as terrible as I thought it would be. I smiled. No problem, Rebecca. And who knows, maybe we'll have a few more adventures together. Alex raised an eyebrow. Adventures. Don't push your luck. I laughed, spinning him around the dance floor one last time before the music faded. As we headed toward the exit, I couldn't help but feel grateful for this unexpected night. Sometimes, stepping out of your comfort zone can lead to the most unexpected connections. The warm summer breeze hit us as we stepped outside, leaving the noise of the dance behind. We walked in comfortable silence for a moment, the moon casting a gentle glow on the path ahead. You know, Jeff, I never would have guessed you'd be so cool about all this, Alex finally said, breaking the silence. I shrugged. Well, life's too short to worry about what people think. Besides, who we are and what we do shouldn't be defined by societal norms. Alex glanced at me, a thoughtful expression on his face. You're right. I've spent too much time trying to fit into a mold. It's exhausting. I get it, I replied. But there's a freedom that comes with embracing who you are, even if it means going against the grain. He nodded slowly. Yeah, I guess that's something I need to work on. We reached a bench and sat down, looking out at the starlit sky. The distant laughter and music from the dance still echoed in the background. You know, Rebecca, you've got a lot more courage than you give yourself credit for, I said softly. He sighed. It's not that simple, Jeff. I wish it were. I leaned back, my hands behind my head. Life's a journey, and it's full of twists and turns. But every step you take towards being true to yourself is a step worth celebrating. Alex smiled faintly. You're a strange one, Jeff. But I'm glad I got to know you tonight. Likewise, Alex, I said, looking at him. Or should I say, Rebecca? He chuckled. Yeah, yeah, Rebecca for tonight. As the night grew quieter, we sat there in companionable silence, lost in our thoughts. It was a night I never would have anticipated, but it had turned into a night of unexpected connection and self-discovery. Hey, Jeff, Alex said after a while, his voice softer. Yeah. Thanks for tonight. Seriously. I grinned. Anytime, Rebecca. Just remember, life's too short to wear a pink prom dress only once. He laughed, shaking his head. We'll see about that. And so, under the stars and moonlight, we continued to talk, sharing stories and dreams, far away from the expectations of the world. In that moment, it didn't matter what anyone thought, 
All that mattered was the bond we had formed on this memorable night.